Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to week three of Friday Night Smackdown. We have a phenomenal ending of the month. Uh, next mo next week is the Go Home Show for all four shows. And then uh, next weekend, not this coming weekend, but next weekend, uh, Saturday noon, is Raw's Tribute to the Troops. And then uh, Saturday 6 p.m., Ring of Honor presents Final Battle. And then the following day, Sunday noon, it is SmackDown's version of Tribute to the Troops. And then later that night at 6 p.m., All Elite Wrestling presents New Year's Smash. With me, as always, is Wednesday Dynamite's Jam Saw. How are you today, sir? You're goddamn right, brother. Brother is always phenomenal with that being said. What the fuck's up with this? What the fuck's up with this guy? Ladies and gentlemen, let me open up by saying Baron Corbin, former member of the court, rest in peace, the court. Uh, and former mid-card champion Baron Corbin taking on Heidenreich, who's been on quite a tear lately. You're goddamn right. Like a crazy Russian-German hybrid soldier. Oh, yeah. That's just out to destroy everything in his path. I'm making me think a little bit of, like, uh, what's his name, uh, Blatskowitz from, from, uh, Wolfenstein games. Mm. You know what we forgot to do for ha Halloween for the October big big, big show? Uh, costumes? Yes, we forgot to do Juan Chena. We forgot to do uh, Curtis Angel. Uh, we forgot to dress... I was going to dress Randy Orton as Orange Cass Cat Cat Cassidy. So you, could, so you could call him Randall P. Fresh Orton all fucking night like you normally do. <laughs> Randall P. Fresh Orton. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, shit. Yeah, it's one of those things. Oh, well, maybe we'll have to do Christmas in January, or uh, uh, Halloween in January. Ooh, touche. But with that being yeah, said, uh, sir... Costumed up Royal Rumble. But with that being said, sir, uh, let's talk about uh, Baron Corbin uh, being in the court. Rest in peace. <sighs> Listen. Yeah, we don't talk about Bruno. We <laughs> Listen, folks, he doesn't want to admit it, but he misses the court. You know how the yeah, fans... No way. You know how the fans miss, miss Ro I miss, Roman I miss in real life? Before the court was even a thing. That's what I miss. <laughs> you know what I miss, like, truly, truly miss when I was still working at BOCES, and I would call that you... Hot jam oh, that flaming Hot Jam. And the security guard stole the first batch? Yep. Some of <laughs> but well, I mean, it's not their fault. They don't get paid enough. Yeah, that's true. And they saw it and they smelt it. They were like, oh, god damn, that burns my asshole just smelling it. That's right, man. It'll clear your sinuses and your cold. <laughs> but when I was working at BOCES and I would call you at, like, 7.30, and I'd be like, hey, what do you think about this idea? And you'd be like, Brock, that's stupid. Okay. And I'd call you back and be like, what about this idea? You'd be like, Brock, that also was stupid. But like I said, like he's like a broken clock. He's only right twice per day. Yeah. And he he, he would contact me like twenty times a day. So <laughs> only two out of twenty was he right. <laughs> oh, pick him up, Heidenreich. Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. Put him down, put him down, put him down. Heidenreich is gonna go to AEW and run Ruck Shop. Break his freaking neck. <laughs> Break his freaking neck, eh? Oh yeah, boy. Break his freaking neck on a, on a double double with some uh, Timmy's. <laughs> well, watch out! They'll be pitching loonies and toonies at your head. Why are they loonies and toonies? Can you? T I've been wondering this ever since we started to chat, and I learned you were Canadian, and all that, and I and we talked and everything. Why are they loonies and toonies? Well, I believe the the bird on the one dollar was a loon so we would call them loonies because there was a loon on them okay and we just called toonies because they were two dollars and based off of the loonies of the one dollar and these are toonies mm, that makes sense yeah what else you got what other canadian currency is there, there well there's the fiver which is a five dollar bill okay the, the 10 spot okay then there's a, 
Well, there's the twenty, and sometimes we call it or call her the queen. Oh, the queen's on the twenty dollar bill. See, I like that. I like that you're working with with, with a buddy. And be like, hey, can I get a ride ride home? And you go, all right. Well, I need need a queen first. You're like, all right, I got you. Fiber. Yeah. Or a fiver. Or a ten spot. But with that big sensor, Heidenreich. Once again, putting up the Heidenreich might be for might be your next United States champion, my good sir. Well, goddamn, we're um, gonna have to put someone like Miro in place to block him at uh, Omni War Games. See, I would, I would, but one, he's on Mon He would have been on Mo Monday with the court, and number two, because the court disbanded, Miro was fired. No, what I'm saying, uh, Miro's still a part of AEW. Oh. oh! I haven't put him on a show for a while. I'm saying maybe I should push him so that he'll face Heidenreich. You son of a bitch. Just say. Son of a bitch. German against Bulgaria. So he would, so he would, he would, Heidenreich would have to take the U.S. title from Adam Copeland, and then we can bring Miro back. Which will happen eventually. Uh, Adam Copeland doesn't, ha oh, okay, you mean on your show. Yes. That's right. But up next, my good sir, the tag titles are on the line. AOP, the final testament, taking on New Catch Republic. I know, New Catch has been on a tear. I'd be surprised if uh, AOP could take him away. Yeah. See, but I'm a, I'm a fan of the real life, the final test testament. I'm, I'm excited for, hopefully, Triple H pushes them to where they need to be. Well, they could. It, like, it's, it's really just a... A question of time and energy, if he can do it. If he does, then I'm 100% behind it. But so far, it hasn't been all that promising. Correct. I mean, I'd love to see them be, like, a real threat against, say, uh, the Wyatt Six at one point. Yeah? That would be great. God damn right it would, because it came from the mind of a genius, me. <laughs> genius too if I might say. What? Nice back elbow. Better a back elbow than a forward elbow. Hey oh hey oh. Beautiful. Tyler Bate looking good. Nice catch. You try. Nice. Yep. Yep. Catch, catch, catch. Jump. Yep. Blah. Bah. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. You know, for everything 2K24 did r improved and made better, they they went backwards as well. Yeah, that's usually the way it goes. Like, what? Who? Who in that board meeting, when they were discussing, this is the only way that I can accept that it happened. They have their first meeting for two K twenty four, and they go, "Okay, guys, what's the first? What's one thing that you want to be removed from two K twenty four that two K twenty three has?" The first guy's hand shoots up so fucking fast it pops right out of his socket. And they go, yes, Todd. And he goes, show intros. And they go, oh yeah, fuck that shit. We need to take that out. Fuck you. That's the only way I saw that it happened. It was the first pitch that was pitched. And they agreed to it. Because who the fuck was like, I don't want to be that guy. But you know what really bothered me when I was playing with uh, with uh, my kid on 2K23? Show intros. Why do we do that? Yeah, I don't know, Todd. Why the fuck such do we? It's a waste of time. Yeah, it's such a... It's... Most people just skip past it. So let's remove it. I'm like, yeah, not the content creators. Right, exactly. Go fuck yourself. Especially for paper, for custom show, for custom uh, big... big custom big shows that need that show intro go fuck yourself yeah that's uh, gonna be your next t-shirt is go fuck yourself <laughs> you're yelling at it fucking uh, humanoid all the time <laughs> uh, yeah here we go new catch there you go come on 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Yep. Here we go. Let's Yeet. Yeet. in the corner. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Come on, Pete. Beautiful tag again. Hi yeah. Nice. Yay! So if you were to fight one of the AOP members in like a dark alley right, right after a night of drinking with uh, the boys, who would you rather fight? Between who and who again, sorry? Between both of the members of AOP. Eesh. Uh, no. I would choose Paul Ellering. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> the only one that I think that I would survive. And I probably still wouldn't even beat him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go. I fight Scarlet. It's fine. No one needs to know. Goddamn. No one needs to know. Oh God. Yeah, there, Tyler, you're on the wrong side. Right? <laughs> you're in the wrong corner there, bud. <laughs> it's... Hey, come on, eh? Come on, bud. You, you gotta get yourself to, uh, to your partner there, eh? This isn't, uh, isn't quite uh, Canadian of you. I know you're, you're actually British, not Canadian. <laughs> you're a Brit, eh? We both respect the Queen, huh? <laughs> yes, touche. Hey, but your uh, your uh, food sucks there, eh? Which is uh, fine because your uh, food's bland. Well, except for the fish and chips, eh? The fish oh. and chips is uh, spectacular. They put all their spice in the fish and chips. Yeah. Put all their 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 the UK's food is more more more, more bland than ours is. It is, except for those fish and chips. Except I'll tell you, man, those fish and chips. Fish and chips. Crawl. Crawl, your titles are on the line! Oh, is he looking at him? He's just waiting. Damn. He's like, go ahead. Go ahead and bring in the fresh man. It doesn't mean shit. Damn. I mean, the confidence. They gotta back that shit up, though. You can't just be that cocky. Well, I mean, when you're that size, you always back that shit up, and there's always a beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Ooh, yep, there you go. Working on, yeah, working on him. Boom! Goes the dynamite. Damn. Nice catch. Spine buster. You know, it's time to work on his hand. Here we go. There you go, stomping away. He, and don't forget, folks. Don't forget, not only is this match huge for one of these two teams. Hold on. Okay. Uh, but because when Ring of Honor hosted... Was it October's? Honor United, yes. When Ring of Honor hosted Honor United, uh, New Catch Republic... Uh, uh, because we had to bring in, okay, shit, okay, hold on, okay, let me, let me get this straight, hold on, Ring of Honor hosted Honor United, which meant it was British, British, uh, competitors versus the Ring of Honor talent, and, uh, the, the Ring of Honor titles were on the line, congratulations, AOP, your new tag team champions, uh, New Catch Republic came over, from SmackDown to face uh, uh, Second City uh, Saints uh, for for the Ring of Honor tag titles, and because Second City Saints won and retained their tag titles, uh, I made a deal with Humanoid that at 
uh, December's pay-per-view for SmackDown, Second City Saints would come over and challenge for the titles. New Catch Republic held it for a while, but since AOP uh, is now your new tag champions, they will be going to Ring of Honor for their pay-per-view new uh, uh, final battle and putting their titles on the line. So, yeah, so Second City uh, Saints will be facing AOP for the uh, SmackDown Tag Team Champions. So that's going to be fun. It happens. It is. But up next, Logan Paul taking on Maven. Once again, SmackDown reaching to the bottom of the barrel. Oh, my. Yeah, and then we, uh, we, we reached the bottom of the barrel, and then we also called up Maven, because Maven's a great talent. Yeah, he couldn't find any more bottom of the barrel talent, <laughs> so he went under the barrel. <laughs> I'm like, Maven oh. sleeping in a homeless garage. Yep, I flipped over the barrel, I looked at the bottom, I'm like, what's this phone number? And I called it, and Maven picked up. Yep, he's like, yep, I'm homeless, I got nothing going on, I might as well come diddle around with your guys. <laughs> Well, if I remember correctly, hold on, let me see if I can find it. I wonder if your memory's as good as your hearing. Oh, Maven lost to John Cena last week. That's right. I was like, Maven was in a... Juan Cena. Cena wrestling in a sombrero and all that would have been fucking fantastic. Juan Cena. Yep, and instead of like his usual song, it would be just a bunch of people playing trump trumpets. <laughs> Yep. Yay! <laughs> Logan looking good. Cover. Oh. There you go, Maven. Nice, Maven. So Maven's coming in here with a loss. So he has to be, he has to be very careful with uh, with how he approaches Logan Paul. Yeah, I don't even like Logan Paul, and I can already tell you Logan Paul's gonna win. Well, damn. Well, I mean, in comparison to Maven, let me come on. Hey, Maven's a good talent. Wash that has been. Actually, he can't be has been because he never was. Oh, I also updated my uh, my Gabby because uh, I saw she had her first match. Nice. Yep. Was that in TNA? I believe so. She posted it on her. I want to say either her, t it was, yeah, her TikTok or her Instagram, I'm not sure. But yeah, she posted, and, and she looks, she looks better than I, the attire looked better than what I thought she was, because my in-game one had the uh, page black and uh, steel bottoms, where she had the buttons along the bottom. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I had that on her and everything, and uh, no, uh, she went the other way. She went black and, and she looks like what the Ascension wore. Yeah, so that okay. type of sh yeah, so that type of shit. So when you get a chance, go to her TikTok or her Instagram, and uh, 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 it's her first match she wrestled. There you go. Flip them over. Yes. Yeah, she's wearing black and red. There you go, Logan! Boom! Step up and say, Gurry, love it. Goes the dynamite. Yes, sir. Fly, fly, you yes, stupid bitch! Bags full of flying boom. Nice! Nice, baby. Yep. Do you know how I showed you that Ashley got uh, um, the crocheted set of uh, the Firefly Funhouse? Yeah. I might I might have her, her friend do a crocheted Uncle Howdy. Why not? You know, why not? So, so, okay, so this is what I'm thinking. So should that be, so should I make this like a two season thing where the first season was Bray Wyatt and the puppets and next season when, so when I contact her friend, which is going to be soon, I'm going to contact her, uh, 
I'm gonna be like, can you do me a favor? Remember what you did with the uh, with the Firefly Funhouse? Yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for the Wyatt Six Six, and just have her crochet a full line of the Wyatt Six Six with Uncle Howdy, Ramblin' Rabbit, uh, uh, Buzzard, Huskus, and uh, is it Sister Ab? What is she? Is she Sister Abigail or? Yeah, she's supposed to be Sister Abigail. Okay, okay, because the puppet was uh, uh. Oh, uh, the Wicked, what, the Wicked, Abby the Wicked Witch? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's, it's, Abby is short for Abigail, and it's supposed to be Sister Abigail. Okay, okay. Yes, I might have her, I'll be like, hey, so that was season one, I need you to make me season two, which is crocheted the whole set again, but, yeah, because her sis, because, she knows about the 6-6, six, six, so I might be like, hey, you know that we showed you that? Yeah, you need to crochet that for me. And I'll pay her about as much as I did with that, which was about $200. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. There you go. I noticed that too in 2K24. They focus on the turnbuckle pads a lot. Really? Damn, that sucks. Yeah, you're only allowed Aloha. Oh my god! I <laughs> fucking hate... That's it, folks. Uh, we're gonna end the recording. Uh, the rest will be no, no, no audio. Oh! Uh, it was worth it. I hate you so much. Eh, hate, love. They're very close to the same thing. So yeah, Logan! With a terrible submission... God damn, Logan tapped. That sucks. That's very schmozzy, man. I didn't even see a tap happen. I didn't either. Ah, oh, shit. I'm feeling somebody paid off a ref here. So, up next. Like I said, I believe I said it on this past Monday. Or I said it last week on either Raw or Ring of Honor. But uh, because of all what's going on with Liv Morgan and Rhea and everything, I broke, I broke up the female stable of the Judgment Day. And uh, I, I put together uh, the real-life uh, Bianca and Jade Cargill and Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler. So two teams are replacing one. So who better than Jade Car Cargill and Bianca to face in their first match together against uh, the champions? Uh, I believe it's the champ. Are they? I believe they're the tag champions. Yes. Yep, uh, the Bella Twins. Again, I'm telling you. Yeah, so the Bell Twins are going to put their titles... This time with people that can't really wrestle. Yeah, so the Bell Twins put their titles on the line against uh, who I'm going to call, because they don't really have a team name. So in-game, they're going to be Jade Cargill, and uh, I believe I put them as uh, the women of SmackDown. And if I did, I'm going to change it to Jade and Bianca. I'm not sure what I'll do with it. But, uh, yeah, so it's going to be one of those things. Because they don't have a team name. I know they don't need a team name, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm pretty sure they called them something in WWE. I just can't recall. Because I know that, that they've only been called the Pride twice. One audio and one in text. But they're still called the Street Profits. They don't go by the Pride when all four of them are together or when they wrestle. They don't go by the Pride. But when they were drafted, they were called the Pride. It was on the screen. So it's one of those things, too. Yeah. But, uh... So, yeah. So the tag title... So who are you going for? Jade and Cargill? Uh, Jade and Bianca? Or uh, the Bell Twins with the titles on the line? Fuck the Bella Twins. Why are you and hum Humanoid so in sync with each other? It's because you hate me. Because That's why. we're fucking intelligent beings. No. <laughs> and we, we know wrestling, and we know talent versus, like... I mean, if it, if it was a porn star contest, then I'd go for sure. <laughs> the Bella Twins. <laughs> That's... That's where their talents lie. But in, a, in an athletic course between, like... An absolute specimen such as Jane and even Bianca, man, like she can power lift any of these bitches easily. Yep. 
Easily. It's like it's like comparing like a fucking tomato with a, a watermelon. Well, tomatoes are gross. Well, there you go. You're the bellas or the tomatoes. They're gross. <laughs> Cover! Come on! Get the tag titles! Retain! Damn it. See? But I mean, like, in real life, I don't think tomatoes are gross. I like tomatoes on, like, a BLT or on a burger. If it's a, a thinly salad. sliced tomato, yes. But my wife is one that will go to the farmer's market on a hot day. We'll go to the farmer's market and I'll buy her because she loves tomatoes. So I'll buy her like three little boxes of like cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes, whatever they're called. And we'll get in the car and she'll take one of the boxes and she'll pop them like fucking like like cherries. Yeah. And it's like, what the fuck? I hate it so much. Tomatoes are too juicy for me. That's. That that's all it is. The juice grosses me out. I hate it so much. I mean, with your mouth is really warm. It's nice to cool it down. Yeah, gross. Gross. That's why, folks, you will never see tomatoes in the Flaming Hot Jam's house. Never. That's right. Never. Well, I mean, you don't you don't need tomatoes in there. You need spices. That's why you need habaneros or. Or That's all you need too. Like, 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 like when I was creating, creating the flame and hot jam sauce from your brainchild, there was nothing but spice in it. Uh, jalapenos, habanero. Right, 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 right. But there was no like spice was like ninety five percent the 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 total concoction of it. Yeah. The only reason why I put that in it was to cut like the. Because, folks, let me fucking tell you. Let me fucking tell you. When I kept... Hold on. Wait till this is... Wait till... Okay. When I kept a sample for myself, because I didn't need the hot sauce. It was for jam sauce. So I kept the little for myself. Let me fucking tell you. The first thing I dipped in it was my french fries. Let me tell you. I dipped halfway through the french fry in it. Oh, Bianca kicking out. Let me tell you. It was so ungodly hot that it led to me dipping half of a tip of a french fry in it and it was still fucking hot and that bitch burnt me and made me its bitch let me fucking tell you and this man drenches his fucking this man drenches his steak and his chicken and his hamburgers in it go fuck yourself hot dogs too oh my god Nice duck under. Jump. Bianca capitalize. Nice. You know what would be a really cool name for a tag team? A women's tag team? What? Hot tag. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So like the both ones. Fuck you. <laughs> Ooh. Jade. Shit. Boom. Oh, where was the bridge? There you go. God you damn. Just call their tag team Bree mode because it's fucking stupid. <laughs> Snap suplex. Just like mode is stupid. Clean tag. Love it. Boom. I prefer a dirty tag. Yeah. You're a dirty girl. Oh, thank you. Come on. Thank you. And yeah, nice. Ooh, combination. Love it. Back elbow. Bah. Here we go. Count it. Oh, damn it. Never mind. And she's fighting out of it. Nice. Chop the legs. Come on, Johnny. Sweeping legs. Yep, that's what we do on SmackDown. Total legal things. Yeah. It's what we do. Bah! Nice. Yeah, you could call uh, Bianca. 
Bianca and uh, and Jade, the Nubian goddesses. Nubian goddesses. Yep. The new the Nubian goddess is. Sure. Because it's EST. So Nubian, what's 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 that? Refers to like an African queen of some sort. Oh, two gotcha, because they're two queens, my good sir. That's right. And guess what? Queens fly! Nice! We're, we're called Nubian Queens. I love it. Nice queen tag! Or Queens of Nubia. Ooh, here we go. Belly to belly! Fuck you! New t-shirt says, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Available at gofuckyourself.com. Damn, love it. Catch her off the rebound! What was that? Bridget! There you go! Is that, no, yeah. this is Smackdown. That's not a bridge. There's no arch. That's just a bridge. <sighs> Shit. That means he has even less bridges than he thought because he was counting those, folks. <laughs> Clean tag. Here we go. Oh, God. Where, where's the other one? Get up. Get up. Get up. Put away Brie mode. For no! Do not. Do not. Yeah. Do not. Do not. Do not. Waste time. Waste time. Jade, 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 be nice. That's Nubian goddess to you. Damn it! Dumping on those ribs. Here we go. 2K Shanae. <laughs> Boom. Hey, oh. Goes the dynamite. Where's the other Bella? Oh no! Wait, is she back up? Okay, yeah, she is. She's back. Oh, the ref got in the way. <sighs> Come on! There you go. This is some bullshit. There you go. Come on, Dylan ref. I mean, regular ref. Oh, there you go. He mits it, folks. They need a job! The last match. They need a job, my good sir. No, they, they provide jobs. Blow jobs. Oh, damn. To management. Were you looking into my door? No. Okay. I don't need to. Okay. Good, because nothing happened. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it is! End it! No Boom! Nobody want to watch that shit with the fucking Bella bullshits. <laughs> Call me Vince. Come on, Bella, it'll be Whatever good gets shit. Off, my friend. Whatever gets you off. Come on, Bree, it'll be good shit. Daniel doesn't need to know. Uh, his real name is Brian. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Any word on Vince's uh, new company? No, I don't know if that's real or not. That might have just been someone making some shit up. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, shit. Damn it! No, no. Shit. <laughs> or as Brock would say, go fuck yourself. Well, if they would listen, I wouldn't have to. It's like, yeah, I'd like to see the, the Bells go fuck themselves <laughs> together on film. You make lots of money. For free, for free 99. For free, free 99. 
99. Free 99. For free 69. Damn. What the fuck? Here are your winners. And the new Whatever. It's fine. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not fucking mad. So up next is a fatal four-way match. Kofi Kingston, Matt Morgan, Mr. Kennedy, and Elias. I walk with Elias, my good sir. Of trash. <laughs> Elias? You don't need to talk about Elias that way. No, 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 I was talking about Mr. Kennedy. Oh my god, get out of here. Why? Because he's from Green Bay? You son of a bitch. Yeah. No, I like Wisconsin. Wisconsin's alright, but uh, Mr. Kennedy sucks. He would have dethroned the Undertaker. He couldn't dethrone himself off the toilet. Ooh, there's a message on the screen. Some sunspots. Apparently, we were supposed to hear something. Anyway. Well, I was too busy talking. Of course you myself. were. Boom! Nice! Goes the dynamite. It's my job. I'm a commentator. I'm supposed to talk. I'm and to Matt Morgan. Caller! Y'all are supposed to listen to me. Is this elimination or it's first ball, uh, first uh, pinfall wins? First, first pinfall wins. Okay. Ooh, Mr. Kenny with a bat. Because it's automatically a no DQ as soon as you have more than two people. Yep. Oh, nice, Kofi. Cover. Cover. I didn't even know her. Hey, oh. Dropping, stomping. Yep. Give it to me, a baby. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Are you taking them? The girl, he's saying pretty fly for a white guy. I knew it. Oh, nice, Kofi. And this is our co-main event of the evening, my folks. Ooh. Yep. Elias not using his traditional guitar, but rather a bat. See that too. We should be able to like select like certain what weapons a person will use throughout the match. Well, I mean, there's a couple that have a specific signature. Like when you have Triple H, he'll always go for a sledgehammer. Supposedly, that's in the game for a couple of uh, people that have specific signature weapons. They will go for those signature weapons. Well, the Kings have taken out all three men. What you do when you're a king, son, son, <laughs> whatever. I got gotcha. you. He's Kofi King's son now, baby. Like little Simba. I love it. Coming to lead the pride. No shit, Kofi. Should. Oh, no. Did you hear a scream? I didn't hear nothing. I didn't hear any screams. Dylan again, isn't it? I knew it. Should Kofi's kids wrestle? I don't know. I mean, like, if you made enough money, they might not need to ever, but if they want to do... Like, it really depends if they're passionate about it, then go for it. I think we should do whatever they're passionate about. Yeah, but, I mean, I mean, if your dad was, like, was, like, fucking respected in a certain sport, like, you would, you, 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 by default, in my opinion, have to go into it. Because then you're also competing against your dad for a certain level of fame, and if you don't attain it, then you're kind of feel ashamed in his eyes. And if you do blow him out of the water, then you might feel a bit ashamed that you destroyed his reputation or you surpassed it. Oh, touche. But 
well, but hold on, hold on. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Whose screams were we supposed to be hearing? Uh, the Bellas oh. backstage as they were trying to get their rematch. Damn. You know, doing what they do. Kofi, there you go, Kofi. Pulling around. Ooh, nice. Kofi and Matt Morgan working together. Goddamn right. Nice float. Kofi, so beautiful. What you do in these situations. You work with, with certain opponents and take out other opponents. Cover. Ooh, kick out. Hey! Nice! Nice baby! Do, 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 do. Kofi! Beautiful! Springboard dropkick. He's Kofi. <laughs> oh, wow. of Remember Kofi, you're goddamn right to do. Pick him up. Drop him. Elias looking good, man. So, got to. so obviously you're going for Kofi on this one, but if you were to choose between Matt Morgan, Mr. Kennedy, and Elias, who would you go for? Elias. Alright, between Matt Morgan and Mr. Kennedy, who would you vote for? Elias. <laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth. Yay! Nice! I'd go for Joe. Joe Schmo? Joe Mama. Oh, damn. No, Joe Mama. Cover. Ooh, nope. There you go, Elias. Focus on Kofi. Oh, shit. Yeah! Nice. Elias, be smart. Oh, pitching him in the corner. And Matt Morgan, of course, gets the fucking stairs. Because who else would get the stairs? You goddamn right. Oh, yeah! Damn! Cool, you're just fucking swinging this bat. That's what you gotta do. Take that bat out of your pants, you start swinging it around. Oh, damn. I mean, some would have a hammer, but you know. You didn't save him. That's what dick hammers do. Don't save you. <laughs> Boom! On the fucking bat. Love it. Goes the dynamite. Ooh. E ooh ah uh, ah uh, ding dang wada wada bing bong. Who are we supposed to be saving? D's. Nope, nope, nope. We're not doing this. Come on, Kennedy. Ooh, there you go, Morgan. Cover. I'm Morgan Freeman. And I can tell you, this match sucks. I can tell you right now, I can smell you. If Morgan Freeman knows one thing, it's a good wrestling match. And this is not it. And neither is AEW. AEW is the issue. The only <laughs> wrestling promotion you should be watching. Matt Moore. Good pal, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman would Morgan never Freeman watch matters. AEW. Morgan Freeman would never watch AEW. He, he has that tune in 24-7. That's all he watches is AEW. My name's Morgan Freeman. And I don't like that, uh, that elite bullshit. Folks, don't listen to an imposter. I'm the real Morgan Freeman. <laughs> you know, I like penguins and shit. <laughs> Some call me God. I have been known to be the Lord on at least one occasion. 
<laughs> one time. There was this one time back in the not 80s. 90s or 2000s, I don't know. Morgan Freeman's not so good with time. <laughs> nice, Elias. Ooh, yep. Cover. Oh, man, of course Matt was right there. Kennedy. Kennedy or Kentity? Oh, he can a I don't think he can't. <laughs> I think he can't. I think he can't. I think he can. There you go, work the He can a D, my good sir. He cannot a D. That's but 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 he 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 gable no, what the fuck was it? What the fuck? He's ungable to accomplish this. So, for the people that didn't watch M Money in the Bank the other weekend, let's just say there are some people. Uh Oh, Kennedy picking it up. How is he doing with his character? Who's what now? Sorry, what? I said, for the people that didn't watch Money in the Bank yet, how is Chad Gable doing with his uh, with his character? Because I haven't watched Money in the Bank yet. So, with him being in Money in the Bank... Uh, that was the one match I missed. Oh, so okay. I okay. <laughs> Oh, here we go. And the most... I, told you, I, I thought it started at 8, but it actually started at 7, so I missed the first uh, the first match. Oh, shit! Goddamn lack of respect. So, uh, with this being said, uh, this is the main event, my good sir. This has been brewing since, I believe, November? Hold on. November to dismember. Yeah, so... November... Week 2 co-main event, Undertaker confronted Jay when it was Jay Uso winning over Karrion Cross. So this has been going on for a month now. Um, Goddamn right, boy. I mean, Undertaker versus Jay, what are you expecting from something like this? I'm expecting for uh, Undertaker to make him rest in peace. You know what, let's do this. If Undertaker wins here tonight, at Tribute to the Troops, we'll have a Undertaker versus Main Event Jey Uso in a casket match. Yes, let's do that. And that'll be the main event. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. That'll be the main... Yeah, tri at Tribute to the Troops, if Undertaker wins here, we're going to end this by... Uh, them facing in a casket match. I, I think that'd be fantastic. They got the damn. That could be a wonderful way to end it. Boom! I mean, they've been... Because they haven't fought in at all yet, but they've been interfering with each other's matches. So this is the first time that they're going to fight each other right here. So, I mean, let's put this to bed with a casket match. That's what I'm saying. Put it to bed already. Shut that shit down. Close the remarks. Going to choke Jay. Boom! Nice. What do you... Th so, in real life, Jimmy hasn't been on TV. What, what are you thinking of what... Because he was jumped by uh, Tomatonga. Uh, what's going on with his character? I think he's just taking the time to recoup. He's going to come back with Roman, join up with the main event, J J so and it'll be a bloodline versus bloodline attack. And they got to pick up a fourth. So oh. maybe it's going to be that other... Uh, Zilla? Hidaleko. Hidaleko. What, Zilla Fatu? No, uh, there's... Um, uh, Tamatonga and, Tama, uh, and Tonga Loa's have another brother. Oh, of course, bro brother. Holy sh There's another Fatu called Juicy Fatu that's on MLW as well. Yeah, 
So someone's going to come in and join Roman's team to even it up, make it a four on four, and that's going to hit probably Survivor Series. They might they might hold it off to close to WrestleMania. I, I think to like build that story. Okay. Nice, beautiful. Nice baby. Fly, Jerry OJ. Freaks gotta fly. That's for sure. That's what they wow. do. I just re- I haven't looked at my uh, my channel stats in a while, but I just got a an email from YouTube saying, "Congrats, you passed 100 subscribers." That's so fucking 100, fantastic. 101. Yeah. So what you're saying is, I should buy you another championship belt. Sure. <laughs> You know what? Buy me two. You can, you can make it the Christian TNT belt. Damn. Buy, buy me two. Two TNT belts. The Christian one and the Adam Copeland one. Damn. Love it. Ooh, nice. Nice, Jay. He's like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to send you the AEW women's belt, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, 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 the TBS title belt. No, no, no. The first the women's TBS world belt. championship. The tiny yeah, the one. The Jay Cargill one. Now the Jay Cargill's on SmackDown. <laughs> I'm gonna buy you the first uh, world cha- ch- championship that uh, uh uh what the hell was her name that she won that was really tiny. Damn. Oh, okay, the first women's title. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Won. yeah, and then you'd have to wear it. I wonder how tiny it would be on you. But anyway, with that being said, folks. Hit on me, I'm sure. <laughs> with that being said, it's folks. Phenomenal piece, bitch. No, we're actually getting word that there's a video we have to show you guys. So, uh, we're we're breaking it down as we speak. Uh, so, sir, don't go anywhere. We have a uh, video. From, yeah, I'll watch the video, but uh, in the meantime, as always, when I'm uh, Yeah, so we'll let you guys go. Rest in peace. And uh, enjoy the video. <laughs> 